Here we go. Coyotes. Do you hear the coyotes? I, they could be somebody's children. <laughs> could be our children. But I, I think they're coyotes. <laughs> Chivalry still exists. I got my hot coffee. Okay, it's lukewarm coffee. It's raining outside and John is still packing up the rig. Hey, it's pouring rain still and we're an hour away from Joshua Tree, but we passed a sign that said Aldi. And I was like, what? There's Aldi. an Aldi here? We're stopping and grocery shopping. Joshua Tree, but it is it's five o'clock. It's almost dark outside. It's it been raining all day. For us to stay on BLM land, I'm a little concerned about what we may be getting ourselves into yeah. in terms of stuck into stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are here just outside of Joshua Tree National Park. We pulled in the dark and we woke up to find this, so it's it's a really easy place to get to. We had heard that, you know, don't don't you can't camp at Joshua Tree, don't bring your big rigs to Joshua Tree. And while that is true that there are small sites inside the park, this is eight minutes away from the visitor center and from the town of Joshua Tree. And there are there's room for hundreds of rigs here of any size. Thank you. All right, Chloe, let me see. Yeah, yes. We're here at Saguaro National Park and only a few weeks ago, we were at Joshua Tree. What is unique about both of these places? They both have trees that are not actually trees at all that are only found here in the American Southwest. We are so fortunate that we got to see both of these national parks, even though all of the shutdown stuff was happening. What an amazing view, it's so beautiful. You can see for miles. I come to you guys at the highest point of Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, we're supposed to be able to see the San Andreas Fall from here. Uh, unfortunately, we are in the middle of a cloud right now. Yeah. I'm so stinking bummed that it is completely fogged over. <laughs> I really wanted to see the San Andreas Fault. It runs right here and then there's a big huge mountain range. It's also very cold out it here. It is. Right I, now. I, I, I was like, <laughs> Chris is like, forget I about it. You anything. can go Phil. This is like miniature canyoneering, babe. A long, long time ago, there was lava under the ground. And the lava would melt the rocks, cool them, and then it cracked. Then the wind and rain eroded the soil and revealed the rocks underneath. And now, they have this hard surface. It's like Spider-Man, watch, I'll show you. It's super grippy.
It's another move in the nighttime. Whoops! Just arrived at Ironwood Forest National Monument. It's 11 o'clock at night. So now we're on a An adventure. questionable road with Wendy. Again. Yeah, we have no cell service either. So there's that. I am standing outside of the Red Hills Visitor Center. We decided just to come, and it turns out this place is happening. All right, Bubs, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Ethan? family had a great time learning about all the plants of the desert. Prickly pear cactus. Teddy bear choya. Enchant cactus stick. Barrel cactus with fruit. Saguaros. Pal o verde tree. Ironwood tree. Buckhorn choya cacti. Pencil choya. Mesquite tree. Chain fruit choya. Also called jump. also called jumping choya. Choya don't play. Choya don't play. When a saguaro cactus has no arms, it's actually called a spear. Did you have fun today, Chloe? You like? I like it. Yes, I see that. Nurses of the desert. constantly amazed at these national parks. This place is so neat. The diversity of the desert and the things that I've learned are really, really cool. And you can't beat the sunsets. You can't beat the sunsets at all. Giant saguaros can actually get to 40 feet tall, and the tallest one was 78 feet tall, and it finally toppled over because of its own weight. These are fascinating giants. The saguaros can weigh up to 4,800 pounds and hold over 500 gallons of water. Wendy only holds 45 gallons of water, and these things can hold over 500. I compare it to the size of the aqua tank that I have that's 65 gallons. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's insane. And inside, they are completely fascinating. It's not what I thought they would be inside. They have ribs inside that are actually like wood and they shoot all the way up through it and they keep it nice and strong. And we learned all about the animals that live inside of it, burrow inside of it and live in the cactus. You guys ready? I got it on tape. I just cannot get over how beautiful the weather is here. It's the middle of January and I'm in a tank top. What? Share the road with a tortoise.
You know, there's seats at the picnic table. Or It's time to move on, and as you know, we got here in the dark, so we had no idea where we were going, and now we have ourselves in a precarious spot up here. Oh, oh, we're gonna take out a bush, oh no! Good job, babe. This is what we navigated. <laughs> Just the hitch. Oh yeah, look at this. This is what we navigated in the dark. If we'd have seen how bad the ruts were, we probably wouldn't have come back here. But no, we did. Boss man here <laughs> is amazing at driving Wendy. We got this. We got this. We love all things not ordinary, and this is certainly not ordinary. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you loved it, hit like, hit subscribe, and follow us every week for a new adventure. 